do guys um <laughs> you remember a while back a certain craft haul series that i did and i promised a bonus video and then i forgot all about it i am so sorry well here it is here it is <laughs> um <clears throat> yeah so there's not a lot actually it's just after all the stuff that i'd got uh, which was from my sister-in-law who uh, runs a market stall on our local boot sale on Sundays. Uh, she managed to come across a whole load of craft supplies from somebody who was having a declutter and first person she could, got hold of was like, hey, I've got a lot of stuff, come and have a look. So I did and I bought tons to go back through the craft haul videos and have a look. Uh, I broke it all down into separate videos and then I said in the last video which was a two-parter um, I said that there was another video coming up which was a bonus video with just I went back down and had a look at everything else that she had left and just got what I wanted basically uh, but I never got around to doing the video I'm so sorry guys but I'm here now and I'm going to share with you so there's these two little folders which are pretty cool. They're just a little thought that which I think these are going to come in really useful actually for um, keeping stamps in the um, excuse me things like the, the rubber stamps. I think they're probably going to end up in there. So and there's two of them. So they will definitely come in useful. Then there's some of this, which is grunge paper. It feels really weird. Look at this, it's Tim Holtz as well, guys. Ah! Um, there's three 12 by 12 sheets. Well, there's actually more than that because there are three in there, but there's also one um, here that I took out the other day. And I could speak it off. Um, I honestly didn't realise it was Tim Holtz paper. Not that that really would have made much difference to me anyway. I didn't realise it was Tim Holtz paper and I used it um, when I was decoupaging. <laughs> I used it to put on my craft mat when I was decoupaging a <laughs> tag um, the other day. Um, this one. So, and then that was um, from the Distress Inks, the Tim Holtz from the Distress Inks just for rubbing off my little, um, actually, it's a nail, nail art pad thing, as you can see, I've already used it for nail varnish on that side, but I found it's really, really handy for um, inking. So, and that's just from where I were testing out, there is Vintage Photo, Frayed Burlap and Walnut Stain on there, I was just rubbing off what ink I had on the brush at the time to use a different one because I just use the same brushes um, but then um, the piece of paper got glued to that so I was thinking of just cutting out and <laughs> cutting it out and making a tag but yeah I had no idea I'm sorry but it feels really weird I don't know what it's supposed to be used for or what but it it feels weird it kind of reminds me of velvet it feels nice but my body's just going Ugh like someone scraping the nails down a blackboard so I don't know what I'm going to do with this I would imagine because it's, it's weird it's I don't know it's hard to explain has anybody got some of this stuff um, it kind of has like a full leathery texture to it it's weird so I'm thinking maybe a journal cover for like a TN a traveller's notebook or something I don't, I don't know. It's, mm, weird. Um, but yeah, so uh, if anybody knows what these are supposed to be used for, or, well, not so much supposed to be used for, but what the kind of, what people generally tend to use them for, please let me know. Um, but yeah, I've never heard of grunge paper before, but it feels really weird, so I've popped that piece back in there. Didn't realise it was Tim Holtz either, so... Um, for those of you who don't know, in the, um, well I would say junk journals, but not in the 
paper crafting world, especially in the junk journal community, Tim Holtz is like, he's like the king. <laughs> very, very big branded name. Um, then we have this, which is a make called Sentimentally Yours, Creative Expressions. I've heard of that before, actually. Um, and these are quite, these are really pretty actually. They are Chic 8x8 Premium Insert Paper Collection. And they are, I assume you cut that out to use as a border frame or you use that as a frame to stick a picture in. But I think that's really cute and some of these, some of these papers I really like. The colours and everything I really like. But I'm thinking more of using it to... If I just kind of get my ruler, ignore this, and then just cut that bit, cut that bit, cut that bit, cut that bit, and then just use them as like belly bands or tuck spots or whatever, rather than. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to put my ruler back in. No, I won't go back in asleep. Um, rather than using that, I mean that's not going to go in a journal anyway. It's too big. So I think they'd best, I'd get more use out of them if I cut them in straight lines like that and just use the paper. But they are really pretty, I love them. I really, really love them. Really nice designs. They're plain on the back, so it wouldn't matter about gluing them in. I'm sorry for the sniffling, I'm coming down with a cold, I think. I've started with a sore throat and the sniffles. So, but yeah, I'm really... Really liking the colours of them. I'm liking the blue ones, especially the, especially now we being like winter time. I think I think up here, I think here up north, it's completely skipped autumn and gone straight to winter because it's freezing. Um, but the different tones and shades of blue in this is reminding me of winter. So yeah, I'm quite liking that. So I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll just chop that up at some stage and make strips out of them. Um, then we have um, this, which there's a few of them from what I can remember. Just let me have a root. Um, everything's still in the bag. From... Oh, wow, I forgot about them. <gasps> I'm so glad I did this video now. I completely forgot about them and they are going to be perfect for the Chloe's journal that I'm working on. Cool. Just might save them till last. You know save, save the best till last. Um, so where are we with these? There. And some more. Oh my word, I can't believe I forgot about them. Um, where else are we? I think that's it. I think it's something there. Yep, that's it for these. Um, I think they're all the same. Nope, that's different. Or are they all different? Well, they're all Christmas anyway. They are... Hunky-dory. <laughs> cool. Hunky-dory crafts. Um, Essential Book of Christmas 2016 Sentiments. Foiled die cut sentiment sheets and these are awesome because they are a book of die cuts so you basically literally just pop them out and use them. These are mainly for card making more than anything um, but they will come in useful for Christmas journals and such like so stick that in my ephemera box. So that's this one. I'm not sure how alike they're going to be. But yeah, liking them. So that's that one. So this one says Christmas sentiments as well, which is probably. Oh no, they're different. They are different. <clears throat> yep, they are different. Oh, they're really pretty. What's this one? From our front door to yours, 
We wish you fun and cheer and good times that last all through the coming year. Oh, cute. I like that. They are the exact same things throughout, just on different colours, different coloured backgrounds. So that's good. And then this one, yeah, they are different. They're all Christmas related, but they are different. This one could be very interesting. Oh, oh, now this one really is interesting. It's not a die cut. Ah, oh, did not notice that. I just picked it up thinking it was the same as them. Foiled card. So this is a luxury card. Scorable card stock. Now that is awesome. That's perfect for a Christmas journal. Good quality thick card. You just slice them in half or in quarter, well, threes. Measure it and slice it. You use as journaling cards. Oh, I really like in them. I love the colours. Oh, I like that one. Really like that one. Oh, I love the blue one. Pretty. Nice. It's upside down, but... Oh, I really, really, really like that. Snowflakes. Cool. Oh, they'd make awesome journaling cards. Wow. Oh, well. Even better. I wasn't expecting that. I thought they were all the same. I thought they were all die cuts. Um, we have a box full of stamps, which I'm going to have to go through them myself because I know there is a couple of letters missing, but I can't remember which ones they said, but they are really fancy letters. So I'm quite looking forward to having a play with them. Um cute there are like I said there are some letters in there some pretty designs that'd be awesome for junk journals wouldn't it a book in fact I'm going to keep that one out for now that one nice But yeah, I can't remember which letter it is that was missing. I meant to write it on the tub and I forgot. But I'll I'll sort it through and I'll figure it out myself. I can keep that book out. Actually, I might. No, I won't keep that one out. I'll leave that one in there. But yeah, <laughs> come in the tub as well. So that's that. Um, and then I got... What did I get? Just let's get to the bits later. I got these. Oh my word! I love, love, love these. Can I get to them? These are amazing. Have got them all? Nope. Another one. These, yeah, these are absolutely awesome really excited about these for future journals they are stamps vintage lady stamps beautiful flowers loving that um, and then we have a vintage lady stamps lady playing the violin love this one this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and then another lady playing the violin. And before, I just couldn't wait, I've actually stamped them to see what they were like. My stamping has improved since I first did this. Um, so, but just as a rough idea. Sorry. <laughs> Postman again, honestly. Every time I come up here to do a video, somebody knocks on the door, the postman comes, my phone rings, just seriously but anyway just to I couldn't wait any longer and I was so what did it with me as well where some of these I'm thinking are they supposed to be cut out and missing like that so because they weren't black originally obviously they were white because they'd never been used but I wanted to try it I couldn't wait didn't get a full impression but I now know what I'm doing a bit better stamping wise so that's the lady which is cool Um. That 
is that one making sure I got it the right way around so that's that one, I love that one that is gorgeous, that one would be nice on edges of paper um, that lady is this one I will get some better impressions now I have a bit of a better idea what to do to get a good stamp but yeah, so that's that one and then these two, oh my word, wow I'm going to show this one first um, that's this one these stamped really good actually I was really impressed with that I love that one and then this one this one has got to be, got to be my favourite got to be my favourite this is the one I looked at and I'm thinking you're right, there's some missing off it that's not never going to look right the, there's pieces missing it looks like someone's been chewing on it and then I stamped it and got that and it's like oh wow look at that absolutely amazing I love it I love how it didn't quite stamp right as well so it's a bit faded but that's just gorgeous the, the whole lot of them are just absolutely stunning I love them so yeah I'm so glad I grabbed them thing is as well when I first went down to look at all the crafting stuff um, I never thought to even entertain these I wasn't particularly bothered about them but then I thought, well, hang on a minute, we're going down the junk journal route and we're going down the um, vintage style. Then, yeah, we need these. We, these would be perfect. So I'm so glad I changed my mind and picked them up. So we have stamps, which is awesome. We can never have too many stamps, especially these styles. And I'll definitely be keeping the eye out for some more similar. Then we have... Let's have a look what we've got. Oh, we have a couple of... Um, yeah, I forgot what they're called now. Blocks. I think they're acrylic. Acrylic blocks for putting stamps on and stamping. Which I don't actually need now because I've got my stamping station. But I didn't have my stamping station when I bought these. Uh, when I saw them and bought them. So I may actually give them back to put back on the stall. Because I'm not going to have a need for them now. Um, we'll see though because I think I might have a friend who could get some use out of them so and then I've got let's have a look yeah that one yeah I'm just trying to get to the good bits before we get to all the um, like scrap bits paper and knickknacks Ooh, yes, I forgot about them. Oh, wow, yes, I did forget about them. Oh, honestly. Right, so, like I said, we've got them. And then I picked up some more stamping pads. I've actually... I actually picked this one up as well, but this has been out for a while. I've been using it because it's a black one, and the little black one that I have run out. Um, But, yeah, so there's nothing overly special about them. They are just black. Them two are, anyway. That one and that one are just black different brands but they're black this is a tinted pink embossing pad and I am not entirely sure what to do with this just yet um, yeah see from my reckoning is you use that to stamp on something and then, well, you, you emboss something first. Then you use this to stamp over the emboss, the embossed piece, and then you sprinkle embossing powder on it, and it raises it. It's supposed to make it raise up. I don't know. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. I've got, as previous craft haul videos showed, I've got embossing paste, um, but I haven't got glitter, embossing glitter, so that is something... I need to look at a bit more in depth um, so yes yeah, so we've got them too and then I got these which had oh I'd completely forgotten about these Oops. they are glued together <laughs> Um, magnetic 
die cuts or well just die cuts as well but this is magnet magnetic pad that someone's glued in half it's been an A4 one they folded over and glued to an A5 which kind of suits me because my Sizzix Big Shot takes A5 it doesn't take A4 so it does that way but not that way yeah um, but yeah that is so I've completely forgot about this and I'm so glad I've got that magnetic one now because I've actually been looking at one so awesome and I forgot all about these hearts and everything these die cuts themselves so yay yay really really pleased about that one missing is there oh it's on the other side no that's okay in there then we have a really really pretty rose one Rosie's one that'd be nice on the bottom of a piece of paper um, yeah and then on the other side we have a butterfly gorgeous I love butterflies and another heart with a flat well like a design on it oh I can't believe I forgot about them right they can now go in the um, little holder little basket that I've got over there next to the Sizzix that's got the um, Sizzix cut, die cuts in it dies not die cuts the dies in it um, I'll put it in something else other than this but yeah that can actually get put over there now before I forget about it again so yes um, and then we have these awesome love love loving these um, these are amazing as is for journaling cards blank on the other side oh, wow. um, are they all like that yep these are matte these are glossy so but just look they're just so cute 4x6 oh wow i haven't even looked through these i just picked it up going yeah they'll do oh, my word that is gorgeous oh, what oh, i i can see me not wanting to part with these oh my word they don't need anything doing to them they don't need cutting down or anything they just need sticking in as a journaling card oh, wow first put that ledger paper in the background oh my gosh oh amazing wow oh wow wow this is going to be perfect for chloe's journal these especially oh my god wow right so there's four of them it looks like there might be four of each but just oh, wow one two Three, four. Yeah, it looks like there's four of each, but oh my word! Just wow. How am I ever gonna part with them? I I don't think it's gonna happen, guys. I don't think I'm gonna want to ever part with them. Let's see if I can get that my piece of paper back on just to keep them together. And let's let's have a look at these. These is actually part of the pad. So there's, they're plain on the back as well. These aren't as thick. These are more paper. They're a proper card. But these are glossy. So they're shiny. But even so, still journaling. You can still journal on the back. But yeah, so butterfly. Oops. They're all going to come off while I'm doing this, aren't they? Three. Oh, four or five of them. Oh. 
look at that amazing that's definitely got to go in right, I'm taking that off now that's going in Chloe's journal <gasps> wow might as well just pull them all off now they're all going to come apart anyway aren't they Oh, there's six of these. Six of... Oh, what? That's going in. There were six of them as well. Oh, my... Oh, what? Right, I'm going to have to just put these each one of these in a pile and then either put them all in, see if I can work them all in or just choose, bite the bullet and choose. Wow, look at that. Gorgeous. I love butterflies. Oh, look at that. I'm not as wow about that one as them it, it is wow don't get me wrong but i'm thinking chloe's journal i'm not as oh my god wow for that one so we'll skip that one for now i might come back to it oh, that's all my word look at these no yeah that one that one oh do you know what i'm gonna put one of them in anyway i might change my mind later on that one definitely Well, I hope I'm in shot here. I, keep, I think I keep going out of focus. Uh, out of range. Oh, gorgeous. Do you know, that'd even be really pretty just cut at the top and the bottom and cut round that and use as an embellishment. Or a tag, even. Especially with it being like glossy, shiny. So this is obviously butterfly themed. My brain's just kicked in and realised that. Actually, no, that one wasn't because that one had peacock feathers in it as well, didn't it? This one is all about the butterflies. So... end of the pad put that piece of card somewhere that card is really really good really thick and it's nice to use as a base for stuff but yes yeah, so yeah this pad is definitely all about the butterflies there's nothing in there other than butterflies awesome this one has been all sorts, yeah, a bit of both. Butterflies, peacocks, roses, birds. But yeah, but this one is all about the butterflies, so. Wow. <gasps> right, they need to be kept out, put to one side and put in the um, paper box. Let's put them to that side for Chloe's journal. Um, oh, and then we have this. This is so cute, I love this. Dreaming florals. Craft sensations. Um, oh, there you go. The website. And these are well cute. It is just a paper pack of. It says ten centimeter by ten centimeter. What's that in inches? Probably four. Hmm just shy of four inches square so what i thought these were with them being dead square and so stinking adorable you got that one just some pink spots three flowers green flowers cacti Pink flowers, 
Some of these are definitely screaming shabby chic. That's so cute. That'd be nice in a summer journal. Some more green ones. That reminds me of fireworks for some reason. Pink floral. Oh. Apples. Are they apple? Yeah, apples. That'd be nice in the teacher journal. Nice, very chintzy. More flowers. Even more flowers. Lots of flowers. Pink bubbles. We're liking that one. Summer meadow. Oh, it's got little yellow butterfly. Oh, little yellow and pink butterflies on it. Cool. More green flowers. Pink floral. Ooh. And then some more pink. That's it. But what I'm thinking for these is with them being perfectly square like that and only small is fold directly in half ish <laughs> a bit more precise than that and then there you go corner tuck for journals and flip up for more journaling space so adhere it to a corner pocket a corner page like that so you've got a corner pocket there you go like a get one of these so you get like a tuck spot in a journal page and then either glue it down and embellish it or leave it flip it up for more journaling space on there they are the perfect size don't need nothing doing to them or anything like that just literally fold in half and glue they're the perfect size, they're the perfect designs, and there's tons of them. So I think that's going to be my pockets book. So we've got that, and then we have, what have we got? Basically just some little bits. We've got these. Yep, this is all that's left. We've just got these. We've got some foam Christmas shapes. Well, they're not foam actually. I thought they were, sorry. They're not foam, they're just glitter paper. They are quite thick though, which made me think of foam. But yeah, so Christmas decorations glitter baubles so we've got some glitter baubles and then we've got some of these these are ideal for just using strips of thinking as well for edges of journal edges of papers you can take them off individually to make single strips or you could do a few at a time to make a nice wide one then we've got happy christmas We've got another one. I like that one. Um, another one that says Happy Christmas. One with candles on, they're pretty. Um, okay, so we've got Happy Birthday. Come on. Someone's coloured them in first. And then of course when you take them off, they're coloured. So when you take them off, the letters are coloured, which is a really good idea. I like that idea. So yeah, we've got happy birthday there, and then we've got a bit more fancy one there. That'd be good. <laughs> another, another one. Oh, I like that little strip there. <coughs> Excuse me. Another one there. Another one there with parcels attached to it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, I need a drink. So 
sorry. <clears throat> My throat's gone really dry. Um, there's actually not very many left on there. There's only one, but it's for croquet. Just for you. And we have a Christmas scene one. The three wise kings, three wise men. I like this. Loving the sparkleness of that. Some holly, lovely mistletoe holly. Um, what's this one? Another kind of Christmas related one. What's this one? Oh, oh, cool. So we have Nan, Granny, Nanny, Gran, Grandma, Nan, Grandad, Grandpa, Gramps, Grandad, Grandson, blah, 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 to my darling with love. That's a cool one. That'll probably get used. Lots of different wording on that. Happy anniversary. Liking that one. Um, what's this one? Hugs, thank you, kiss, love you, sorry. Interesting. With love, nice. What's this one? Best wishes. Get well soon. Happy birthday. Oh, there's lots of different ones on here. Thank you, anniversary, happy birthday. Good luck, all the best. Could be useful. And congratulations and stars. <clears throat> Another one with hugs and kisses and thank you. What's this one? Oh, student one. You've passed on your driving test. A-levels, theory, exams. Your new leaving. Sorry to hear. Bloody bloody blah. GCSEs. Cool. A nice happy birthday one. Best wishes. And then a seasons greeting one. So most of these have actually already been used. I will sort. I don't. They just got thrown in the bag. It will like, oh, hang on, before you go, throw them in as well. So I don't know whether these I'll make use of. I don't know whether any of the others will be any useful. But I do have a couple of other crafting friends I can send them on to if they are. Um, that's it. And then there were just this. Merry Christmas and some cherubs with some baubles, which I can probably use. And that's it. Um, and the bag is empty. So yeah, quite a lot in the bonus video. Um, some really good stuff, really, really good stuff. I'm really pleased. So, and like I said, it'll all get used. I can't believe I forgot about these, even though I didn't look at them properly, but I knew they were in there, but I forgot. Um, I really do apologise that it's taken so long to get round to finishing off the craft haul series videos. Um... And I know there's been another video or a couple in between the craft haul series ones. So they don't all follow on properly. These are going to be used in a journal. If you want to see these, what I do with these, then follow the Chloe's journal series, which is currently ongoing. Um, there's going to be a gap in videos now because I'm going to post this one. Um, but if you want to follow the Chloe's Journal series, then go to the playlist on YouTube and click on Chloe's Junk Journal. And they are all in there numbered, so you can catch up there or follow along without interruption of other videos like this in between. Excuse me. And yes, I shall... There's the pile of stuff. But I shall leave it at that now. I've shown everything I need to show. Um, I look forward to using all this stuff. And thank you very much for coming along and viewing. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking about this video. Are you ever going to get around to doing it? I'm so sorry it took so long, guys. But here it is. Yay. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. 